Life, the Universe, and Everything is the third book in Douglas Adams' iconic Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. It follows the misadventures of Arthur Dent, an ordinary human who, in the first book, narrowly escapes Earth's destruction, thanks to Ford Prefect, his alien friend. The story begins with the revelation that the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is simply the number 42, but the question itself is unknown. In the second book, the group of friends gets separated, and they eventually reunite at the restaurant at the end of the universe. However, during their journey, they become entangled in bizarre events, including a spacecraft on a collision course with the sun, and they land on a prehistoric Earth. In life, the universe and everything, Arthur and Ford find themselves at a cricket match in London two days before Earth's destruction. They encounter robots stealing a cricket trophy, and then they are recruited by aliens, including Slardabartafast, who seeks their help. The stolen trophy is a vital component for constructing the Wicket Gate, a device that could lead to the destruction of the universe. The cricket people, who were once isolated and unaware of the wider universe, had declared war on the rest of the cosmos. Cricket was eventually defeated and isolated within a slow time envelope. The wicket gate could potentially disable this envelope, enabling the cricket people to wreak havoc on the universe. The crew eventually reunites aboard the Heart of Gold, where the cricket robots steal the ship's infinite improbability drive, a crucial component for the wicket gate. They travel to Cricket, where they discover that a supercomputer named Hector was responsible for the universe-destroying device. In the end, they successfully thwart the Cricket robots and their destructive plans. However, there's a twist when Arthur nearly activates the universe-destroying device, but fortunately fails. A journalist approaches them with a man who's been given too much truth serum, causing him to reveal the ultimate question and answer to life, the universe, and everything. The man claims that the question and answer are mutually exclusive, meaning that one person can't know both. Disappointed, Arthur decides to live on cricket. The book is known for its blend of absurd humor, satirical commentary, and imaginative storytelling, which is characteristic of the entire series. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.